All right, so uh, we're going to hopefully kind of summarize all of this domain stuff with the, uh, the other definition for domain, which is just, you know, what the, the graph should look like, how far left and right the graph is going to go. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph uh, number 24 here and try to point out why the domain is negative 1 to 7. Okay, so I'm just going to graph this function just how it is in the calculator. So I got square root of x plus 1 over square root of 7 minus x. So I'm going to, of course, zoom standard to graph it. It's a lot easier to see this on Desmos, especially whenever you've got these rational functions. Uh, it's just they can get really ugly looking sometimes. So the domain is how far left and right the picture goes. And it's hard to tell here, but it's actually going from here to here. What you can do is you can press trace, and that allows you to be a, a little dot on the function. All right, I'm just pressing over, and it's changing these x values. But if I go too far to the right, like if I get above 7, even a little bit, uh, 7.01, you see right here where the y value just kind of cuts out. And that's because 7.01 is not in the domain. If you plug in 7, same thing happens. All right? 7 is not in the domain. That's why it was an open dot there. But if you plug in 6.95 or something, all right, it does give you a result. All right, 6.99999, it does give you an answer, 894. All right, so that's how far to the right the graph goes is 7, but not including 7. And then for how far to the left it goes, uh, you could do uh, 0. You could plug in 0 for x. And then start pressing left. Okay, we're getting close to negative 1 right here. There we go. When we pass to negative 1, it cut out again. Okay. Uh, can you plug in negative 1? Negative 1, yes, it is defined. You get 0 as an answer. All right. So that's why the domain is negative 1 to 7, and that's because that's how far the graph goes. All right. The picture goes from negative 1 to 7. Uh, I'm betting you could do the same sort of things with all of these other ones. It's just a little bit harder to... Uh, to see, especially on the graphing calculator. Uh, let me try, yeah, let me try number 22 here. All right, alpha y equals, I'll do 2 over square root of x minus 3. Zoom standard. All right, so the graph starts at 0. All right, you cannot plug in a negative, All right, like negative 1. It's not defined. And it's fine, like the graph does go to the right for a while, but as soon as you get to the number 9, this thing starts kind of spiking downward. Okay, And if you press 9, trying to plug that in, you'll see that it's not defined. If you do 9.5, though, it is defined. Okay? So x can be greater than 0, uh, but the number 9 itself is not defined. Uh, I guess you could zoom out if you wanted to kind of see more of the picture. Yeah, here's the other half of the graph that you could not see earlier. Trace, I'm plugging in numbers like 12, 14, 16, those. And the function can handle that. All right, It's always defined. Uh, it's just not as easy to tell on these graphing calculators. Like Desmos, you could definitely see. All right, if I'm looking here, uh, same thing. Let me look at, yeah, 26. All right, if I do the square root of x squared minus 25, zoom, standard. All right, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. 
huh, I wonder why nothing is happening. Oh, it's because I my square root's not over the 25 like it should be. Square root of x squared minus 25. There we go. So the graph, uh, you can see here it starts at 5, all right? It starts at 5, and then it goes up and to the right forever. Okay, It is defined at 5, even though there's like a little gap here. And negative 5, all right, trace negative 5, same thing. All right. If you look at 27, the graph of that, you'll see that there it's actually completely connected. There's no... There's no space in the middle like there is on this one where it's not defined. All right. Square root of x squared plus 4. Yeah, this one does go on forever in both directions. Uh, if I look at 28, 28 is a cool one. I like that one. Square root of negative x squared plus 4x plus 12, and graph. So this one, the domain is supposed to be from negative 2 to 6. And you can see that is what the picture is doing. It's from negative 2 to that 6. Okay, and that's all the picture is. Like, you don't get any more to the graph. Trace, negative 2. You can't go to the left, though. If you try doing negative 3, you'll see there's nothing defined there. Uh, if you go to uh, 5, it is on there. And 6.17, no dice. But 6 is defined. So this is just a, another way that you can go about thinking about the domain. Is try to graph the function and then see how far left and right the picture goes. That's another way to think about the domain. It's just You can't always do this sort of thing like it gets kind of I don't know if you, if you check out this one you'll you might see what I'm talking about it's it's harder to tell how far left and right the picture goes sometimes